hi Tracy, hi Teresa, hi Carmen, hi Audrey, just doing a few checks, can you hear and see me okay? Hi Shirley, hi Debbie, hi everyone, thanks for joining me, can you see everything and can you hear me okay? Can anybody just confirm that for me? Hi Leonie Tynes, hi Pam, hi Louise, hi Angela, Hi from Portugal. Hi Teresa. Thanks for joining me. Hi Beverly. Can hi Tracy. Hi Eileen. Hope everybody's well. Um, can you see everything okay? Wonderful hearing you. Oh, thanks very much, Carmen. I hope you're well. Hi Piggy Sue. Yes, all good. Thanks, Shirley. I can't believe it. It's worked the first time. And you'll be pleased to know that I'm crafting in my pajamas as usual. Hi Abs. Hi Etoire. Uh, thanks for joining me. Yes, I'm very well, thanks. So are you? Yes, I'm looking forward to the workshop as well. So I'll just wait a few moments just to give time for everybody to join because I always start a few minutes early just to make sure that my phone starts up and, and all things work. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Kath. <laughs> thanks for joining me, Kath. Hi, Alison. I hope everybody's well. And thanks for joining me. I'm actually going to be creating a card today. So it's actually this card that I'm actually going to be creating. You're watching for a few minutes, Mar Marianne. <laughs> no problem. Hope you enjoy the yoga. Hi, Janice. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, before I start, I've got a little giveaway. And the giveaway is for everybody, for everybody that's joining me today and just joining in the live. If you'd like to share the video, that's wonderful you don't have to everybody's in the draw just for joining me hi diane uh hi tom lovely to see you uh so i've got a small giveaway so the giveaway um for anybody for just joining in the facebook live hi sheila hi jane i've actually created a little journal a little passport book it's actually using eileen hall's passport hi sandra thanks for joining me and you're also crafting in your pyjamas, Louise. Yes, I always craft in my pyjamas, pyjamas, I'm afraid. I never change. So I've got a little journal as part of the giveaway. So it's one that I've created myself. Uh, lots of texture. So that's part of the giveaway. I've also got a few bits and pieces. I've got um, a little paintbrush that you add the head at the top. Hi, Mary. And... A little brush so that's a little mixed media piece for you and I've got some chipboard pieces and I'll add some more bits and pieces to it as well some chipboard pieces and a Posca pen all ideal for mixed media and little pieces like that so I thought I'd do a little giveaway just to say thank you for joining me it's been a while since I've done a Facebook live I must admit um, so I thought I'd give it a go. It was either cleaning or a Facebook Live. So I decided on a Facebook Live rather than the cleaning. Hi Julie, hope you're well. Sorry, had the audio playing twice over. <laughs> it's probably better listening to the audio than to me actually, Tom, to be fair. Um, so that's the little giveaway. If you'd like to share the video, that's wonderful, but that's not a necessity. So we'll start with the, the card. And again, it's, it's a bit of a mixed media card, lots of layers as usual. Um, thanks, Teresa. And I'm actually using my A4 stamp set, uh, stamp set 113 from All and Create. And it's available on the All and Create website or from our stockists. And the whole idea of this live today is to show that with one A4 stamp, you can do lots of techniques, you can do lots of projects. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to use the whole thing, you can use part of the stamp or you can use little bits of the stamps or you can just use the sentiments and that's the whole point of my live today and also purely for a bit of fun. Yes, I, I would rather craft than clean, I must admit. Thanks for sharing, Sandra, much appreciated. So, uh, I'll give you another look at the card so you can look at some of the details. We've got a few layers here um, and the bodice and some textural layers in the base so that's what we're going to be creating today nice steady pace so that everybody can keep up 
and then if you want to create it later it's not a difficult project it's anybody can create this all abilities so I'm beginning with a piece of um, 13 art paper this is a paper um, designed by Ida who's also on the All in Create design team but she's designed this for her 13 arts and I've used one of the plain pieces of paper there's a couple of plain pieces in there and this is the piece that I'm using and I've actually cut it to four and a half inches in width to six and a half inches in length hi Julie hope you're well hi Sadia so, and hi Debbie lovely to see you hi Lisa and I've actually cut it to four and a half inches by six and a half inches now we need to age that a bit because at the minute it looks a bit stark and I'm actually going to be adhering it to a piece of 300 GSM white card because that'll give me lots of stability when I'm adding lots of layers so that'll give me some strength to my card so I'm just going to just age my piece of paper a little so I'm just going to fold it and then I'm going to add a few creases to my card which I'll then highlight further. Hi Romania, hope you're well. Hi Julia, hi Zoe, lovely to see you. Hi Hazel, thanks everybody. Ida is ideal for what I'm doing. I uh, hope you can still see me. You froze or is it just me? Yes I, I seem to have froze, I don't know why. I'll keep going and hope that it carries on. Hope it, uh, hope it catches up. Hopefully I'm back now. Hi Jenny. You froze or is it just me? No, it did freeze. Hopefully it's come back. Has it come back? I'm just carrying on. You've frozen. I'm hoping I've come back. It should come back now. Hi, Millie. Have we come back? Hi, Kaz. Hope you're well. I'm hoping that it's not frozen now. I'm back. Can't you rely on the network? The network's supposed to be better here because I've had an upgrade. And of course, typical it freezes. Hope you're well Ginny. Hi Monica. So I'm literally highlighting those creased lines just to age the paper a little. Frozen for you as well. You're freezing Tracy. Stage fright. That's probably right actually Romania. No trust me honestly it's the, it's the network it's not me honestly. So I've actually aged that paper now so that it doesn't look quite so stark. Uh, can't watch now, but we'll catch up later. Okay, Anna, thanks very much. Back now, back now, right. Now we can carry on now then. So we've literally, all we've done is aged the paper with some Distress Oxide. Just to highlight those creases in my card. I'm back, yay. Hi, Millie. So we've now got some nice creases in the paper and that just ages us a little bit. Uh, love it, love Love it, the name. I know, Ginny, I painted them just for you in case you join me. Shame I haven't got a grey top on, though, to match like you do. So I've now... Where have I put my stamp? That's the only thing with working in a small space. I put something down and then I can't find it. So I'm actually going to be using this part of the stamp. And I'm going to be using it in a random way so I don't want to use it on an acrylic block if you prefer to use it on an acrylic block then great but I'm using it as is because I want a more random feel hi Mitziana lovely to see you um, so I'm now going to ink my stamp up with distress oxide gathered twigs and I'm giving it a good inking if you're just using the stamp for a first time and you've never used these A4 stamps before, I'd recommend priming them. I'm sorry if I'm repeating this for those that have watched the videos before, um, but if you want to start with an A4 stamp, I'd use Versafine or Versafine Claire. Personally, I'm a big advocate for Versafine Claire because once you ink with it, it stamps to perfection every single time. But if you um, prime your stamps first, ink them with a layer of ink, allow that to dry, and then ink your stamp again, stamp onto scrap paper, and then ink your stamp and stamp onto your quality project. Priming the stamp just gets rid of some of the stickiness that happens in the manufacturing process. That's all it is, it's the manufacturing process, and then your stamping will be perfect. So I'm now inking this up with Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide Ink. Giving that a good inking, because you're using a big stamp, and now I'm going to stand up a little because I'm, I'm terrible. I like to stand up when I'm stamping. 
and I'm aiming for a random feel. I don't want anything too precise. So as you can see, I'm not using an acrylic block. Hello, Maria. So I'm not using an acrylic block. I'm using the stamp as is. And I'm just giving a reasonable press. You don't need to break your wrists to stamp. And I'm literally, I mean, I'm not using an acrylic block here. So if you want to use an acrylic block and that's better for you, that's fine. The only reason I'm not using one today is because I'm going for a more random feel. But that's using the Distress Oxides. And as you can see, it gives a very crisp, clear image. Um, oh, thanks, Jacqueline. Hi. So it gives a lovely, clean, crisp image. I'm waiting for my iPad to catch up because it seems that it's a bit behind. And it gives a lot of detail to the stamp. And that's just stamping with the Distress Oxide. And it proves you don't need to press and break your wrist to step it. As long as you've primed the stamp, you'll always get a perfect impression. It works really well. That's why my black rubber stamp's too good. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so it, it, it'll definitely stamp beautifully with the Versafine Claire and the Versafine. That works really well. So what I want to do now is I want to add a touch more texture to the background of my design. So I'm going to be using DecoArt crack Media Crackle Paste. You can use any crackle paste that's in your um, craft stash. And... Because I'm using moisture, because obviously there's some moisture in the crackle paste, that means that the Distress Oxide will seep through the crackle paste. I want it to do that um, because oxides are reactive to any moisture. Now I want it to seep through because I want the age feel. If you don't want that aged feel and you want it just crisp and clear, then you need to use the Distress Glaze over your oxide, wipe that over with your finger, and then it will no longer be reactive to water. Hi Terry, hope you're well. So I don't want to add the glaze. So I'm just going to add a random covering of the crackle. Now I was always recommend that you let crackle dry naturally. I don't like to dry it with a heat tool because it forces the cracks to dry too quickly and sometimes you don't get as good a cracking. That's just a personal preference. It's just the way I like to work. So obviously I created one beforehand so that this can dry and I can create another project with that. And then when it's dry, I added that to the white card and then colored the, the white area with some more of the Da Vintage photo. So I've got one that I did before. So we'll just move this out the way. So if I now pick this up to the camera, can you see the uh, cracks that have cracked beautifully? And I've only put a thin layer of the crackle on there. And if you look closely at the picture, you can see that the Distress Oxide has seeped through into the crackle, which is what I love. I love that technique where that, the colour actually seeps through. So it looks like you've actually lined it up when you haven't. So I actually quite like that. If you don't want that look, then you just need to add the glaze because then it'll stop it seeping through. But I love that because that adds to my aged feel of the whole of the whole sample. OK, so then we'll get on to our next area. So I now need to add some dimension to my design. So I'm going to stamp the bodice again with gathered twigs. again giving that a good inking and then I'm then stamping it onto white card and as you can see this time I'm actually sitting down uh, to prove that you don't have to put lots of pressure on there and there's your stamping again so we've now got the second stamping hi Rhonda and now I'm just going to add a touch of shade shading I love the crackle as well Kaz I really like how when it dries naturally, the colour seeps through and that really adds to the age feel. Hi, Anne. Hope you're well, my friend. Hi, Pam. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you'd like to share the video, that would be much appreciated, but not, not a necessity. I do have a little giveaway, uh, which I'll show again at the end. Now that I've got this um, silhouette, the silhouette actually says strong, love and beautiful in the text. And I want to add a touch of shading there. So if you're not really big on colouring 
um, I like to stamp with the oxides or the distressings because it makes shading really easy which it means then I can just use a water brush and I can just blend very lightly and it automatically adds some shading to your your design it means that if you're not a big colorist you don't have to think about it too much we don't all we aren't all professional at coloring with these pens I know that some people are absolutely fantastic but this is an easy way just to add a touch of shade shading hi Emma lovely to see you thanks everybody for joining me I know it's been a long time since I've done a Facebook live I have to pluck up the courage to do a Facebook live every time once I get started I'm okay but it's just getting started sometimes it's the fear of the unknown you always worry about something going wrong so I think that's the worst thing really you're worrying about the network oh you didn't miss much Anne uh, you can easily watch it on rewind no problem so I've added a touch of shading to my bodice which makes it nice and easy around the edges you don't have to colour the whole, the whole thing just give it a touch of shading so that it coordinates with your background and you'll be pleased to know that I've actually cut one out previously so that you don't have to watch me cutting I'm sure that would bore you senseless so I've done that and then I need to stamp another area of my stamp so now I need to stamp the dragonfly so again I'm going to ink up with gathered twigs again don't be frightened of the A4 stamps hi Rain don't be frightened of the A4 hi Mags don't be frightened of the A4 stamps just think of them as a mixed media piece that you can split up into little pieces you don't have to use the whole thing obviously you can use the whole thing and then cut it up die cut it use the whole thing on a canvas but today is showing you about using parts of the stamp rather than using the whole thing so I'm then going to stamp my dragonfly onto my card And again, I'm not pressing too hard. The oxides stamp beautifully. Thanks very much, Joanne. I love using this stamp because it's got a lot of elements and elements for me to use. And they're quite easy to use. And even if you just stamp them in a plain brown, it looks really well. You don't have to do much else to it. So we're adding a touch more shading again to our dragonfly. And I love doing this because it's so easy, so therapeutic. The only problem is I sometimes forget. Hi James, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Uh, so we're adding a touch of shading again to our dragonfly. And as you can see, that in itself would make a card. You don't need much else. You could just add some dimension to the wings and you've got a card in itself just from the dragonfly and the text. And I love having this mesh in the background. I just think that's a nice touch. I know I'm slightly biased because I designed the stamp, but I'm allowed to be, aren't I? Just, just this once. Hi, Gay. Hi, Jackie. So I'm just adding a touch of shading there. And then I've cut that dragonfly out. And then you've got these sentiments, find beauty in the ordinary and with brave wings she flies. So you could cut those out as well. No need to worry, Tracy, you're great in your presentation. Oh, thanks very much, Karen. It still doesn't stop me worrying, honestly. I think it's just, just me, it's just the way I'm made. And then when something goes wrong, panic mode sets in. So now I want to add a touch more dimension to this. I do really like how that number five there has shown up. Do you ever look at your cards sometimes and think, I love that bit and I really like that bit? I know, it's very sad, isn't it? Um, thanks, Kaz. So I'm thinking I'm going to add this here, but I don't want it to be too flat. So I've got some of the transparent wings from Tim Holtz. So I can't open the packaging, which is usually the case. So we'll use, it's great having these wings, but can I pick them up? No. So I've got some of these wings here. For me, this is just another layer, even though it's transparent, it still adds to your dimension and to your texture and to your layers. So the idea is I'm going to add this dragonfly here, I think, just to give some dimension. So we'll just adhere that at the top. For me, it's all about the little details. I just love 
adding the little details. That's what takes my time. That's what I spend most of my time doing. And I don't want to cover that number five up because I quite like that bit. I hope you are all the same with your cards or your mixed media pieces, that there's one piece that you really like and you don't want to cover up. I'm like that all the time. It's those wings, Kath. Yes, those wings. We love these wings. And if you prefer, you can cut them in half. So they work beautifully with the dragonfly that I've got on my stamp. So just press that down. We'll just hold that down for a few seconds for the adhesion. I'm a, are you addicted to the transparent wings, Kath? <laughs> so I like those. I love mixing and matching all the products. At the end of the day, that's what craft's about. If we all support everybody, then it's better for the craft industry. So I like to support everybody that's out there. I'm creative at the end of the day. I love my all and create stamps, but I also love lots of other designs. And I think if we all support each other, then that's great for the industry um, and we can all share. So really, that's my whole point for the lives, really. Nothing too, too major, just enjoying the fun, enjoying the process uh, and just enjoying it together. Hi, Cheryl. Lovely to see you. When I licked my... They're demons to catch, managed to... <laughs> yes, I dropped a few on the floor, Karen. I couldn't catch them. <laughs> so now that's stuck, I can now add my bodice. And of course, I've got to add a few threads, haven't I? Or else it wouldn't be Tracy, would it? I can't cover it. No, I make backgrounds, Anne, and then I don't want to cover them up. So I decided with... And sometimes with this one... With the background, it determines what's going in the foreground. So because I liked this so much, my focal imagery is going to one side. So it, it, it just, for me, it just appeals more and I don't want to cover this up. So that's why I've done that. Oh, I'm so looking forward to meeting you as well, Louise. Definitely. I think we should all, we should all support each other. That's what we're all here for. Sharing ideas, no conflicts, just being happy in what we're doing, being creative at the end of the day, that's all I'm here for, is to be creative. I'm not interested in competition. We're all here to support all the craft industries. And if we do that, then all the craft industries will be here for many years to come. That's what I think anyway. Um, and I love to share ideas. And at the end of the day, there are only so many techniques out there. And they're just re revamped or re together. And then we just bring them to life in our own designs. So at the end of the day, I'm just hoping that you enjoy the lives for the, for the purpose they're there, just to enjoy a bit of creative time together. So I'm going to add that there, like so. And we've just bent the arms on this one so it just gives it a bit of dimension. And can you see that I've now got the wings? So that gives me some dimension. And exactly, it's one big family calf, I totally agree. Um, and then I've added the bodies here and the wings and the thread and for me that makes it all tactile and little touches like I've got a five here that's seeped through into the uh, texture, the crackle paste and then I've got the five here so it really looks like you've thought about the design even though some of it might be accidental so I quite like that so now I'm going to add a touch more texture She's frantically looking for a stapler now. I really do need a bigger desk. That would be lovely. So I've added, I'm adding some rusty wire. So I want to add some rusty wire here. So I'm going to try. It's very difficult when you're doing it live not to knock everything because the glue hasn't completely set. So it's going to be moving around a little bit. So you'll have to bear with me. That's better. Just want that under there. Sorry if my head is peeking through. So I'm going to add that wire there. Hi Sharon, hope you're well. It's so lovely to see you all. Thanks very much for joining me. Hi Will. I really appreciate it, especially with not doing them frequently. And to be honest, the only reason I don't do them frequently is that I get too nervous. And that's just me being honest. So if I can do it, anybody can do it, seriously. So I'm just going to staple that in place. Hi Laura. So I'm stapling that in place, just in a couple of places. I've now run out of staples, wouldn't you believe it? Just bear with me. 
I'm just reaching over to get some staples. Bear with me a second. See, it doesn't matter how much you prepare on a Facebook Live, there's always something that you forget. I never check the stapler. And this staple is brilliant because it goes through so many layers that I love it and it'll even go through my rusty wire. So if I can stop my hands from shaking then it'll it'll work. So let's try again. And just one down here. So that just holds my wire in place and as you can see there that just adds some more texture. <laughs> I will try to do some more Jill, it just takes me a bit of time. <laughs> So now I've got the texture from the rusty wire, which I've just added in a circle, and I've added the wings again. So now we'll just press that down because we've moved it a little bit. The only thing with, the, with your lives is your glue isn't quite set. So now I want to add something here, just a little sentiment or something. So I've got some of these little tags that I found in my stash. One of my uh, objectives for this year is to try and use every single embellishment that I've ever bought. So before the Facebook Live, I opened my drawer, I opened two drawers and just picked out the first thing that hit me. So this is the first thing that, that I picked out. So we're going to use that. So I think we'll add a sentiment. So again, because you've got the A4 stamp and you've got lots of sentiments and lots of details, there's sentiments all over this stamp set. So again, I, I love those cards where they just add sentiments and they literally just add five or six sentiments with lots of bold colour and that's it. So you've literally, you could make ten cards just out of the sentiments. It's perfect. So we'll just add a touch of the Versafine Claire ink to one of the sentiments. Let's hope if I can line it up properly on live. Let me just move that up a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to press that on there. It doesn't need much of a press. And there you have, with brave wings, she flies. And then again, because everything is aged, good luck with that. <laughs> the stamp set's actually mine, Sharon. It's from All and Create, Eclectic Silhouette, hash 113 it's actually available from our stockists or all and create um so it's this stamp set 113 a bit of self-promotion sharon sorry <laughs> i need the strength i need oh i thought you said do you know Cass? i thought you said i need strength then not this stamp so yes so it's stamp set 113 and so we've got with brave wings she flies and I'd say use all those embellishments up, things that you may not think of using. Use them in some of your mixed media designs. You'll be surprised how they work. So then I'm going to add a touch of colour to the, just to age it a little bit more. And I quite like the fact on these, they've got a little jump ring in there. So I'm going to add this there but I think we'll add a touch more texture I'm all about texture thanks Sadia I hope I'm pronouncing your name right it doesn't sound right so I'm going to add a touch of cheesecloth I like adding some cheesecloth again because it's 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 just some texture but I mean another idea for this stamp set I was thinking earlier was if you've got any of those um little Tim Holtz frames like this one that would look great framed in the piece there and then you could have the body on the other bodice on the outside so there are lots of ideas that you could use it for so you could use it with a frame and I think it would, you could even frame just that part or even frame the dragonfly and even that it all frames really well the little figure is my favourite I love the little figure um, but I think if you look at what you've got in your collection, I mean, I, I, I'm sure that lots of you have got these little frames or frames, or you can even create your own frame out of card. It would work quite well with that as well. So I've used a bit of cheesecloth because the cheesecloth will add some texture for me. 
so I'm going to add that and I'm just adding let's move that up a bit I'm just adding a bit of adhesion onto the cheesecloth I just add it randomly and let's add that little bit as well and I'll often add bits that are lying around on my desk as well sometimes that's a good thing to do I think it's a versatile stamp uh, Rizwana I get a lot of use out of it I must admit um, so I'm now going to add the sentiment there if I just press that down just so that the, the glue sticks and if you can see the sentiment fits nicely on there hello Laura Evans Laura Evans is my daughter <laughs> I have no idea why my daughter's decided to join a Facebook live because she never crafts and often calls me mad when I think up some of the ideas <laughs> oh thanks very much AOT um, so we've, that's that and now I've just seen on my desk that I've got some of these bits you know when you tear uh, from a watercolour pad I'm going to use a touch of these as well just on there so we'll cut some of this these, these pieces make great little embellishments and it just adds to your overall design. So just add a bit of colour to that. And this is just a piece of paper, but it's surprising those little details draw the eye into your whole design. So I'm going to add this to the top of my card. And my glue's actually stayed fluid all the way through. Can't believe it. So I'm going to add that there. Just let me lift the card up so I can see what I'm doing so that we get it straight. If you don't lift it up sometimes, you don't get it straight. Just remove some of that excess glue. That's better. And that just gives another little touch to our card. So this is what we've got. So you've got all those textures in the background and fr visibly from the eye, I can see all the crackle as well. Um, so that all still works and you can see all the detail of the stamping in the background and then I'm just going to add some of these, a, a couple of these little um, pearly things from um, Finnebar. I told you I use everybody's designs, not just my own. So I'm just going to add, we're going to have to add three. I can't pick the little ones up. Right, there we go. So I'm just adding some of these clear little domes. Can you see them in my, in the picture? Thank you, Deidre. Thanks, Anne. So I'm just going to add a very tiny amount of glue to those. And I'm just going to add one there. The glue will dry clear, so don't worry that you can see that initially. Just another little one here. I like to add them in threes because that's more appealing to me. It, ju it just seems more appealing to the eye. And I don't think about it too much because if you go for a more random feel, that's often better. So if we then add that to our black mat like so and a white card you then get the card and it, it's not too complicated it doesn't take you hours it's obviously the thinking up the idea can often take longer um, and I just love the fact it's very textural and it, it all works together for me I even like the staples because that adds to the grungy feel. I like not thinking too much just because then you can see. And if I just tilt that, you can see the wings as well on the design. And you can see those domes and you can see all the stamping. The idea is that you try and keep some of the lower layers still visible. I know a lot of people do some beautiful backgrounds and then cover them all up. But I try to you know at least keep them all 
some part of the background and some part of the stamping all visible to the eye. So then that draws the eye into the design. So we'll leave that down there and then I'll just go through the, the giveaway again for those that didn't that weren't here at the beginning. So I hope you enjoyed that live. The idea is that I'm going to do some quick lives that so that you don't get too bored, that you still keep interested, and to prove that even with an A4 stamp, it's it's everything's possible. There's nothing too difficult. It's all achievable. Um, and I hope that I explain it clearly for you and prove that we can all achieve these results. It's just taking the time and experimenting with the, the products that you've got. Um, so the giveaway, if you want to share the video, that's wonderful. If not, it's not a problem because everybody that's joined me today, um, hi Joe. <laughs> see Mr Blackthread is here. I'm going to use some of your coloured threads soon, Joe. I promise. So as a giveaway, I've made this journal. Uh, it's got some blank pages so that you can make notes at a workshop. So it's a little journal, it's machine stitched and it's very textural. So I'll be sending that to the randomly drawn winner and I've got some, oh thanks ever so much Piggy Sue, and I've got some um, chipboard pieces as part of the giveaway, all different ones to add to the giveaway which I'll be sending to one randomly drawn winner and this is like a little paintbrush and it's got a little body that you put on the top and a Posca white pen. If you'd like to share the video, that I'd be really, I'd be really grateful. If not, it's not a problem. I can, I'm still just drawing it as a randomly drawn winner. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see from any other Facebook Live, just give me a shout. If there's anything I can improve on, just let me know. Uh, and I'd just like to say thank you very much to everybody who supported me on the All and Create journey uh, and bought stamps, shared posts, just been there, being on the lives. I'd just like to say thank you very much and just continue doing what you're doing and enjoy your craft and don't get involved in anything else and a big thank you from me and i shall see you all soon hopefully bye for now bye do you sell the rusty wire or make it yourself the rusty wire is i get it online if you message actually megan when i go through all the comments later I will try and find you a link or leave you a note under your comment. I always I always uh, comment under every one, so I'll try and find your comment later on this evening and I'll get that for you. Thank you for another... Your, oh, thanks very much, Beverly. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, everybody. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you soon. Bye. She says if she can get the phone out of the thing.